So if we were to create shapes in Google Slides, like for example, if I were to go to the shapes menu and go to shapes right here, and if I were to take something like a rectangle, you can see that I can make one object like this. But if I were to draw the same object again, then uh, um, um, it, it's really a possibility for me to create the same size of the rectangle without using the uh, snapping tool or some sort of guide. So to make that easier, what you can do is you can go around and enable snap to grid feature, which you can access by going into view and by going into snap to and then by turning on grid. You don't see any grid right here, but if I were to go over here now into, let's say, for example, shape and click it, if I were to click and drag, you can see that it actually snaps into place. It is not very smooth as you can see, but it snaps onto place right here and I can get the idea of what it is. So it snaps onto place right there. I can go around right here and then create an exact same shape. Let's say for, for example, I can create like same structure right here. I can go around and then drag it and it snaps onto place. And now I know that it is the same size. Let's say for example, if I want to create a bar chart. So let's just go around and create a bar chart right here. I can copy and paste this around and let's say I want equal amount of space now. So since snap to grid is on, it only goes out, let's say certain spaces. So you can see that there's snap to grid on right here. So there's two spaces right here. And then again, I'm going to go for two spaces right here. And then I'm going to go for more two spaces. So we know that they're equally apart now. And I can go around. I know this is 50 percent right here and I can go around and you can see that it is much more easier to control it this way. You want to uh, create some sort of uh, guide right here, a virtual guide. What you can do is you can go around and then uh, add a line as well. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around over here onto line and I'm going to create a line. I can copy and paste this and it will just move one step just like this as well. So you know that this is the amount of space that is there. So that is how you can use the snap to grid tool to be precise with how you draw items inside of Google Slides. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.